So Mike, can you talk to us a little bit about how the JOBS Act is affecting uh, capital formation? Right now it is uh, not having a real direct impact. A lot of it is subject to SEC rule writing, but we are starting to see clients uh, looking at it, trying to figure out if they can take advantage of it in the future, and if so, how. You know, it provides some advantages, some reduced disclosures, but the question is, are the bankers or the investors going to be wanting to uh, uh, accept that sort of reduced level of disclosure? And so people are trying to think about all of these things now, even before the rules are, are completely in effect. Lawyers and technology companies in Silicon Valley have been very concerned about barriers to capital formation in the public markets for a number of years going back to the time immediately after the crash of the tech market. How do you think the JOBS Act will affect your clients who aren't in uh, tech or in other industries? Right now what we're seeing is those clients um, asking the questions, well, will, this, will this have some benefits for them? How will it impact them? And will they be able to take advantage of it? Obviously, we're subject to uh, um, SEC rule writing, and um, people are trying to figure out what the provisions are. Should they get involved in the rule writing process to try to help shape it in a way that might be beneficial um, to the full extent that Congress intended when they adopted it?